Today, we're going to discuss solving problems involving kite. So, number one, we have in triangle KSE, if angle K is equal to 40 degrees, then what is the measure of angle E? So, obviously, we have the given kite here, but we are just referring to triangle KSE. So, we are just going to look at triangle KSE. So, from this triangle, the given is angle K, this one, measures 40 degrees. So, if that is 40 degrees, then what will be the measure of this angle, angle E? So, as we all know, the sum of all angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of all angles is 180 degrees. This is when it comes to triangle. Okay, so if we are going to add angle K plus angle S plus angle E, alam natin na sila ay 180 degrees. Now, the given is angle K, which is 40 degrees. Substitute natin. Plus, angle S, which is not given in the problem, but we all know that the diagonals of a kite is perpendicular, meaning automatic angle S is 90 degrees. Kahit hindi siya ibigay dun sa given problem, we all know that it is exactly 90 degrees. So, angle S is 90 degrees plus the missing angle, which is angle E, equals 180 degrees. Now, let us solve. So, 40 plus 90, we have 130 degrees plus angle E equals 180 degrees. And then, transpose positive 130, we have angle E equals 180 minus 130 degrees. So, angle E is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, second example is we have LE is twice LI. If its perimeter is 21 centimeter, how long is LE? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is define what does perimeter means. So, perimeter meaning it is the sum of all sides. Kapag piniplus natin yung lahat ng sides, that is what we call perimeter. So, let us identify all the given in this problem. Okay, so the given is we have the perimeter which is 21 cm. And then, since hindi binanggit kung ano yung given measure or yung given value ni Li, we can represent Li as x. And then, Le, sabi dito, is twice Li or doble ni Li. So, kung si Li is x, do doblehin natin siya. So, Le is 2x. So, those are our given. So, since we all know that Li is x and Le is 2x, Alam naman natin na meron silang congruent adjacent sides. So, si Li, congruent niya si Ik, meaning kung x yung Li, si Ik is also x. And the same goes with Le, congruent adjacent sides niya si Ek. So, si Le, if that is 2x, si Ke or si Ek is also 2x. So, for our solution, we have the perimeter equals sum of all sides, meaning we are just going to add all those four sides. So, we have x plus x plus 2x plus 2x. So, since our perimeter is 21 centimeter, we can now substitute 21 to the perimeter. So, p substitute natin. So, we have 21 and then add all the variables here. So, x plus x 2x plus 2x, 4x plus 2x, 6x. And then divide both sides by 6 for us to get the value of x. 
we can cancel it out or 6 divided by 6 that is 1 and x na lang ang may iwan. And then 21 divided by 6 that is 3.5. So our value of x here is 3.5. Now let us proceed with the question. How long is LE? So since we are looking for the measure of LE, the given here is 2x. So, palitan lang natin yung x ng 3.5. And then multiply. 2 times 3.5, we have here, LE is 7 cm. So, our answer is 7 cm. Last example, we have area of a kite is half of the product of the length of its diagonal. So, we are going to use the formula for area. So, if we are going to write down the formula for area, that is A equals one half. Kasi sabi, half of the product. So, when we say product multiplication. Of the length of its diagonal. So, we have d sub 1 multiplied by d sub 2. Meaning, kalahati ng product nung dalawang diagonal. So, we have the first diagonal multiplied by the second diagonal. So, we are going to use this formula for us to able to answer the last problem. What is its area if one of the diagonals is 4 more than the other diagonal? And IE plus LK is equal to 16 inches. Let us write down first all the given values here in the problem. So obviously, we have the given IE plus LK is equal to 16 inches. So meaning IE, we need to draw down the diagonal IE. And then LK draw the diagonal LK. So, if we add the measure of those two diagonal, it is equal to 16 inches. And then, one of the diagonal is 4 more than the other. So, since mas maliit si LK or mas maigsi, represent natin siya as X. And then, yung mas mahaba, ang sabi is 4 more than. Mas mahaba ng apat. So, IE we can represent it as x plus 4. Kasi mas mahaba ng apat kesa dun sa mas maigsing diagonal. Now, let us have the solution. So, we are going to use this equation, IE plus LK equals 16. And then, substitute lang natin sa equation yung mga given values. So, yung IE, which is x plus 4, substitute lang natin. Plus yung LK, which is x, equals 16. And then, combining like terms. So, we have x plus x, that would be 2x. And then, write down 4, equals 16. And then, transpose positive 4 to the right side of the equation. It will become negative. So, we're going to have 2x equals 16 minus 4. So, that would be 2x equals 16 minus 4. That is 12. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 12 divided by 2. That would be 6. So, our value of x is 6. Okay. So, since our value of x is 6, pwede natin siyang i-substitute sa LK and IE para makuha natin yung sukat nung dalawang diagonal. So, since LK is only x, obviously, LK is 6. Palitan lang natin yung x ng 6. And then, same goes with IE. We have x plus 4. Palitan lang natin yung x ng 6. So, we're going to have 6 plus 4. So, our IE is 10. So, the measure of our two diagonals is 6 and 10. Now, let us answer the question. What is its area? 
So for us to get the area, we need to use the formula. So we have A is equal to 1 half multiplied by D sub 1 multiplied by D sub 2. So yung value ng D sub 1 which is 6, substitute lang natin and D sub 2 is 10. And then solve. 1 times 6, 6 times 10, we're going to have 60 over 2. And then 60 divided by 2. So we're going to have 30. So our area is 30 square inches. So therefore, the area of the kite is 30 square inches. That's it. Thank you.